Um, I read uh, in the Wall Street Journal a few days ago an article about uh, the ABCs of investors' DNA. Yeah. And there's a quote here. It says, a value investor who cannot withstand pain is not a value investor at all. Can you comment on that? Well, when stocks go down, it's always unpleasant. Um, will be points in time where you'll, you know, it's, what are they called? I think the term is cognitive dissidence. Markets collapsing, stocks are going down. One guy runs down the hall and says, stocks are down. A chance to do something. Next guy walks down the hall and says, stocks are down. Um, look, the difficulty, there's always difficulty in it. Um, I don't know. Perhaps we've, we've just been too marinated in this to, to reach a point where we say, gee, maybe the process doesn't work. I think what this has done, I come back to what I said before, one of its strengths is that it has enabled you to extend your time horizon, look at something and say, well, where are we likely to be in several years um, owning this kind of business? It was very interesting when the market collapsed in 08 and 09 and everything went down. And obviously, it was a disaster. And we subsequent to that went back and looked at a lot of our businesses. Well, how did they do? Now, some businesses stood still. We happened to have owned at that point in time shares in Honda. Production at Honda really ground to a halt because people weren't buying automobiles and they stopped filling up the lots for a period of time there. But the guys that made toothpaste and beer and cigarettes and underwear and all the rest of these things, they just kept turning that stuff out and people kept buying it. They, they, those things didn't go away. And what you did was you could look at, and what you do is you ask yourself, you go back to this, this um, concept of how is the business doing? If you forget to ask yourself how the business is doing, you're going to get stampeded out. And you're going to get stampeded out at the wrong time. Um, we see it in our business today. We've, we've essentially closed our business to, to new business. You've had about a what, four, four and a half year run in the market. And finally, all the people who sold out at the end are saying the market's come back and they want to put their money back in the market. And we, like a lot of people, and sometimes you're only as good as the times you're in, have put together a string of pretty good years. Well, they think they're all, they're all still there to be had. And the truth of the matter is it's not. And there's no point in taking on more money in a world with limited ideas. Um, I mean, it's no fun when it goes down, but, but you've got to remember what, again, come back to what are you investing for and what is it you own. And I think that just that keeps you in the game. 